Yes, it's about um, Frygate, um, a development which is going to bring 13,000 much needed, well paid jobs to the city centre and a crucial element of the regeneration of the city centre. Um, I think it's interesting to note, first of all, that this is the biggest undertaking the City Council has um, got involved in since the building of the Inner Ring Road. So, you know, there, it is a really sort of important scheme for the city. And one of the elements about this is that we've got to link this area around the railway station and the railway station itself with the, the city centre. I think it's really important to realise that Coventry Railway Station um, caters for five and a half million passengers a year and it's one of the fastest growing railway stations in the country. We're expecting seven and a half million passengers um, sort of in about 10, 12 years time. And what do you think they see when they first come out of the railway station? It's just a sea of dereliction, you know, we've got a load of sort of crap 1960s office blocks, mostly unused, and the area feels completely unloved. Um, the ring road, as fantastic as it is, um, does provide a physical barrier to sort of movement from this part of the city into, into the shopping area. And what we want to do through the Frygate Bridge project is to bridge that gap and sort of bring the area around the railway station into and make it feel like it's part of the city centre. So the first point I want to make is that we're not breaking up the integrity of the ring road. The ring road will remain as a two-lane dual carriageway throughout, a complete loop throughout. So, how are we going to connect Frygate to the city centre? Here we have a plan which shows the first phase of the roadworks which are going to be implemented during 2014 and the first part of 15. Um, so you get your bearings, here's the ring road, there's Greyfriars Green, um, Bull Yard and Hartford Street are off to the top of the plan, and down to the south we have Coventry Railway Station here, Warwick Road and off to the left um, Central Six. When the works start next February, um, the first thing that's going to happen is the demolition of the roundabout here, which is Junction 6. Um, this is the junction in front of the railway station, which is there. And the removal of the slip roads, the one that goes in front of Fry's house, the one that comes up in front of Copthall house to the railway station, and then the two on the far side. So basically we clear all the way of the existing superstructure of the ring road and then we're going to put a whacking great lid over the ring road and this sort of olive colour here shows where the, um, the new lid's going to go over. It's over 100 yards from end to end. Um, the Freeman's Way footbridge that you walk over when you go into the station is at this end and the tunnel will end more or less where the roundabout bridge goes over at the other end. So you can see that's going to create um, a big area over which we can extend Greyfriars Green. Um, the blue indicates the new permanent roads um, that are going to be installed as part of this and the roads indicated in red are the sort of temporary links that are going to be created pending further phases of Frygate. If you're coming in from the south, um, past King Henry School, past Central Six, coming up to the new junction, you will be able to turn left to go up towards the Butts. You'll be able to go straight on into town up the Warwick Road what you won't be able to do is to turn right onto the Ring Road going towards Quinton Road. If you want to go to the railway station, you'll actually turn right before you reach the, um, the new junction along this temporary um, link road, which will take you into Eaton Road and into Station Square very much as you do at the present. And that will actually be a major advantage coming from the south, that you no longer have to do the full loop um, around the roundabout. If you're coming from um, town centre, city centre, you won't be able to use Warwick Road from the junction with Greyfriars Road down to the Ring Road. In that direction, the southbound direction, southbound direction, that will be for buses and taxis only. If you're on the Ring Road and you're coming from the Butts Sky Dome area towards uh, the station, you'll be able to come up the new slip road here, you'll be able to turn left into town, and you'll be able to turn right to go down Warwick Road towards King Henry's and of course you'll be able to access the station via the new Link Road. And if you're coming from Quinton Road towards the station again you'll be able to come up here, you'll be able to turn right into town and you'll be able to turn left towards King Henry's and also again to access the station. So the vast majority of movements will be retained. The junction itself will be a free-flowing junction. It'll be designed along the same principles as we've done the other junctions within the city centre, what we call a low-speed environment. All of this will be designed as a 20 mile an hour zone and we'll use similar design features that we're using elsewhere in the city centre to reinforce the fact that A, it's a 20 mile an hour zone and B, this is part of the city centre.
So we'll have a network of cameras sort of around the city which are going to be monitoring the traffic on all the major routes and at all the major junctions and you know you'll be able to follow us, um, follow the council on Twitter because we'll be providing live updates as to what the traffic situation is and this is going to be a really important part of our armoury if you like to make sure that um, you know we give the most up-to-date information to enable you to follow the, um, the best routes and avoid any possible congestion. And I think I should make clear at this stage, Frygate is a hugely ambitious development which, um, with over 3 million square foot of space to be built, is going to take place in a number of phases over a number of years.